Hi, I'm Tom Doherty, the Executive Vice President of Technology at Arxium. Arxium is a company that provides solutions and technology to the pharmacy market. We originally started as intelligent hospital systems with one product, Riva, which is the category lever for IV automation. When we work with our customers to add automation like Riva, it needed to change the workflow and the behavior in the pharmacy, and this led us to have discussions about the overall pharmacy operations and the challenges that pharmacies are facing. There's a lot of challenges the pharmacies are facing today with an increase in demand for medications, more and more doses are required every day, with an increasing focus on safety and quality. The regulations are becoming tighter and there are significant pressures to be more efficient and lower costs. It's the typical push to do more with less. These kind of pressures are all similar to the challenges that industries faced years ago when they moved towards lean manufacturing methods and introducing automation. It's hard now to find any industry that doesn't depend heavily on automation with a significant focus on efficiencies. So we believe that the pharmacy can benefit from the kind of approaches industry took by standardizing processes, changing the workflow and adding automation. And that similar benefits can also be attained. So in response, we developed a concept for what we call a total dose solution. We identify the kind of end-to-end -end technology needs the pharmacy's overall dose production requires. Then we look for opportunities to add key technology to our product portfolio so that we have all the pieces we need. So Arxium is a company that was specifically formed to focus on the pharmacy dose production needs, a focus that is unique in the market with a unique product portfolio. Arxium's total low solution approach is a very unique view of the pharmacy. We see the operations of pharmacy are very similar to a supply chain operation like you would see in industry. A supply chain operation is basically taking raw materials transforming them through various processes into finished goods. In the case of the pharmacy, the finished goods are ready to use doses that are delivered to a point of care and are available when and where they're required. We specifically can put together a unique product portfolio made up of specialized technology that contains all the relevant pieces to offer a complete end-to-end -end solution. Arxim is the only company offering all these elements from a single source. Just like an industry moving towards a new workflow and moving towards high efficiency, this is a difficult challenge and requires a lot of work. So in addition, we also have subject matter experts and consultants who work with our customers to design and plan efficient pharmacy operations. Consultants and the right analysis and solution development like we offer are important to guide customers successfully through the processes to become a lean, efficient, automated operation. For these reasons of having the right product mix and the right team to design solutions, we believe Arxim is uniquely positioned as a leader in advanced pharmacy solutions. Our view is that technology is an enabler for the pharmacy to achieve their goals and objectives. And we believe that we need to be a solution provider and not just a technology vendor. So this means that we need to understand the customer needs and their feedback and requirements are incorporated into our solutions. Because we believe in the industry-like approach we've talked about before, we look at the pharmacy as a whole. We work to ensure that any technology added is going to fulfill a customer's need. This means we take a consulting approach to selling and spend time with the customers to understand their requirements. It is important to understand fully the operations, including things like inventory levels, inventory turns, the current and future workflows, the production plans and schedules, and the capacity needs that go behind them all. These are important to work through with the customer to ensure that we have the right solution and the right capacity for what they need today and also look towards their future growth. So to sum up our approach to technology, we are not just about selling and installing equipment, but are focused on working with our customers to define and provide a solution. The total low solution is a way of viewing the pharmacy and its requirements. As we mentioned before, if you look at what industry has done, they've achieved significant improvements in efficiency by standardizing their processes, redesigning their workflow, and adding automation. Manufacturing industry has significantly improved their productivity, their efficiency, their quality, all at the same time while lowering costs. And we believe the pharmacy can benefit from what in manufacturing industry has done over many years. So the idea behind the total dose solution was to address the overall pharmacy dose production in a way that can scale from smaller or even standalone solutions to large-scale, high-volume, highly complex and integrated operations. 
As you move up in complexity and volume of production, the focus on workflow and inventory management become more critical and an industrial type of approach has become even more effective. A quality focused approach to pharmacy production in ways like manufacturing and industry has done becomes a cost effective solution for pharmacists to meet their expectations for quality and safety. So scalable solutions covering inventory, workflow, automated production become important to a pharmacy that is working towards being lean and efficient. It's this kind of solution based approach to the pharmacy considering as a supply chain activity and taking an industry-like view to its operations is what we call the total low solution. It's an approach focused on helping our customers to become lean, efficient, and automated pharmacies. When you approach pharmacy operation in the kind of industrial way we've been talking about, there are some highly specialized technologies that you need. Arxima is formed with a product line that covers all the critical needs and we're the only company to offer all the critical elements. The most critical elements of a total solution are inventory management with the need to understand your material flow, when to order materials, when to move materials, and when you may need to restock. Our RxWorks platform is a comprehensive inventory management suite that can manage inventory across multiple sites. High volume dose production and workflow management are also very important and critical aspects. You need to know what to make, when to make it, where it's going to happen, and to be able to manage your overall production. Our Optifill system and its software provides a scalable solution that can manage and direct work across an entire operation. IV automation is necessary to handle the complexities of IV production. Our Reva system is a fully automated IV compounding system. These are all very specialized technologies and adoption and implementation require analysis and planning to implement. This makes our consulting service another critical element to provide a full solution. The thing that was really powerful about building this company was being able to bring together all of the elements into providing a total solution from one source. Arxim is the only company to provide all these key elements from a single vendor. To be a complete solution provider, it's important to be able to offer all the technology a pharmacy needs. Our product line includes technologies like pouch packaging systems, biofilling systems, automated dispensing cabinets and carousels that may be integrated into a total low solution but can also be implemented as a standalone technology. Standalone solutions can still be a very important solution for our customers. For over 20 years, we've been pioneers in installing these types of solutions on a standalone basis. Our technologies in this area includes our fast pack packaging solutions, our fast fill line of vial filling solutions, our med select automated dispensing cabinet, our fast find carousels. Arxim solutions can therefore scale down to smaller standalone operations and can scale up to high volume, high complex, integrated operations. The range of our products enables us to implement a pharmacy's custom total low solution. Hi, I'm Craig Boyce. I'm the IV Automation Solutions Lead for Arxium. Arxium is the manufacturer of Riva, an automated IV compounding system. Sterile compounding is the most critical pharmacy dispensing process that has to be performed perfectly every time. However, it's also the least transparent because most of the actions that happen during the compounding process occur inside an isolated area where the pharmacist can't directly oversee what's happening. And most pharmacy drugs are clear and they're put into a clear fluid. So it's difficult to tell that the right thing was actually put in the bag. When a pharmacist checks a solution, it's their responsibility to make sure that it was actually prepared correctly. But the question that every pharmacist asks is what's in the bag? Because it's a clear drug in a clear fluid and they have to place their trust uh, in the compounding personnel. With oral doses, that's completely different. If the pharmacy makes a mistake in dispensing something, there's still a nurse at the bedside that can catch that error before it's given to the patient. That's not possible with IV solutions because it comes ready to administer and the nurse can't actually see what's in the bag. Other steps in the compounding process, such as reconstitution and dilution, are even more invisible because they are conducted in the clean room and the pharmacist doesn't have anything to check at that point. Finally, contamination with a viable organism, a spore, a mold, or a yeast is a very serious problem, and these sorts of contaminations are completely invisible and can't be detected by visual inspection.
first, we have to accept that human error does occur. There are a number of studies that have been conducted over the last two decades that show errors occur anywhere from 0.7 up to 14% of the time when you're compounding doses. All of these should be detectable by visual inspection. However, if all the holes in the Swiss cheese line up and the air is not detected, it will pass through and potentially could harm the patient. Automation really addresses two things, accuracy and sterility. First, there's a safety gain in that we have absolute confidence that the correct drug was used during the preparation, and we do this through barcode checks, weight checks, and checks of the images of the vials. Second, when we're using automation to do automated compounding, we don't actually use the volume of the drug, we use the weight. Weights are far more accurate, as well as that protects us from errors during the draw process using a syringe. Third, touch contamination uh, is the most likely method that a viable organism is going to get into a dose. Because you're using an automation system that's isolated from both the environment and the personnel, we can eliminate the risk of contamination during the compounding process. Every hospital can benefit from Reva. We know that errors occur based on the studies that have been done over the last 20 years, that errors do happen, and there's a high percentage of those cannot be detected by visual inspection. So every hospital has that problem and Reva can address that. However, there's really three general use cases for Reva that will have particular benefit. The first is neonatal and pediatric hospitals. These patients are particularly sensitive to small dose errors and can be negatively impacted or harmed during their care if an error occurs in that process. Second is hazardous drug compounding. And this is important both to protect the patient because these are highly toxic drugs. If an error occurs during compounding of uh, chemotherapy drugs, the patient can get sicker than they already are. The other part of it is protecting our workers. When workers are exposed to hazardous drugs, it can produce all sorts of long-term uh, health problems to those workers. By using an automated, isolated compounding system, that ensures that our workers are protected as they're working and making those doses. The really big third use of Reva is in preparing batches of doses. Uh, hospitals that prepare batch dosing could potentially have harm occur to many patients if an error occurs during preparation of a batch. Although there's a number of misconceptions, I think that the biggest misconception about automation is that it's too slow. One of the most common questions asked when evaluating automated IV compounding systems is how many doses per hour can you make? And that's really not a good measure of, of the value that IV automation brings. If we look at manual compounding, you have to look at all the steps that are involved. The time to gather the materials, the time to sanitize, the time to actually perform the compounding steps. And during compounding, you need to sanitize your hands and allow them to dry. And each one of those takes 30 seconds per dose at least. So it's much better to look at the value that automation brings. And that value needs to be the entire picture. So don't focus on just the number of doses per hour. Look at the value from a labor efficiency perspective and a safety perspective, and not just how fast the doses can be made. There's really three big differentiators for Reva that sets it apart from all the other systems on the market. First, though, is air quality. Uh, sterility assurance is dependent on isolating the compounding from the external environment and having extremely high quality air. When you put a robot inside an enclosed environment and that robot arm is moving, you have to have a very fast air so that as the robot moves through the compounding area, you still maintain unidirectional airflow. We have multiple smoke studies we've done that prove we have unidirectional high velocity air. And that's something that really is the most important characteristic for sterile compounding. 
Second is our capacity. Uh, our unique rack and carousel system allows us to have the largest capacity of any automated compounding system on the market. Additionally, we're able to interchange those racks. So if we want to make a, a large number of syringe doses, we simply put in more syringe racks. Likewise with bags, we would take out the syringe racks or extra vial racks and put in bag racks to satisfy the number of doses that's needed in any queue. Third is our flexibility. We can prepare doses in virtually any type of bag or syringe form that's needed. But what's really unique is our ability to prepare final volume bags. In this kind of a case, what we do is draw down the overfill, draw down the amount of drug that's being added, and then inject the drug solution back in. This enables you to make a bag that has a very precise volume and a very precise concentration at the same time. In my experience, and I've implemented a number of REVA systems at a variety of hospitals during the time that I was either a pharmacist or since I've joined the company, there's really three things that, that I've seen making the most successful. First is, before you even begin the install, you identify what your automation goals are, set measurable and specific targets for the system, as well as clearly communicate to your staff why you're automating the sterile compounding process, what your goals are, and how the staff can help achieve those goals. Second is training. Training and practice are the most important keys to ensuring that your go live and ramp up are both successful. Without adequate training and practice prior to go live, people won't really be comfortable with using the system, but in a practice environment, they can learn about which buttons to push, what to do and not to do, and gives them a high degree of confidence when they actually go live. Third is have a structured ramp up plan. Even before you begin your go live process, you should know which drugs you're gonna compound in an automated system, what your sequence of adding new drugs are, and when you wanna be completely ramped up and utilizing the system full time.